Welcome back. I'm your host, Darnell Jackson. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use ChatGPT to create company policy and compliance documentation like a seasoned pro. Now, continue building on the same example we're using the food truck. Check out all of the previous videos so you can get updated on what is going on. All right, let me jump right over to chat GPT. And I am using the food truck example, so you see it there. Now, what we're talking about is company compliance. So instead of Googling, we're going to just ask the robot for the types of compliant documents, documentation we may need to have. So let's say, can you provide examples of the types of company documents that I will need to have for the food truck business? Let's say I'm going to say, can you provide examples of the types of company policy documents that I will need to have for the food truck business? All right. So I'm just going to just start the conversation straight up. Chat GPT says, yes, there are many different types of company policy documents you may need to have for your food truck. Here are a few examples. Number one, employee handbook. An employee handbook is a document that outlines your company's policies and procedures as well as your expectations for employee behavior and performance. If you've been employed, I'm sure you've heard about this document before. Health and safety policy. A health and safety policy is a document that outlines your company's commitment to providing a safe and healthy workplace for your employees. It should include information on topics such as hazard identification, risk assessment, and accident prevention. This is an excellent document you need to have. Customer service policy. All right. I'm going to, not going to read all of these. Data protection policy. Right. Social media policy. All right. So what I'm going to do is expand into the results it gave me by asking the robot to go ahead and write me a customer service policy. All right. Just go ahead and write me a customer service policy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a couple um, example policies that I'd like it to include. So I'm going to say, can you write a customer service policy? for the food truck that includes a, a strict rule of no refunds, no ex exchanges only. Okay, this is a customer service policy. No refunds, uh, exchanges only, okay? So can you write a customer service policy for the food truck that includes a strict rule of no refunds, exchanges only? Let's see what you can do, robot. All right, so now it's thinking. Let me jump down. It says, sure, here's a sample customer service policy that includes a strict rule of no refunds and exchanges only. At Darnell's Good Eats, we are committed to providing our customers with the highest level of service and satisfaction. If you are not completely satisfied with your purchase, we will happily exchange it for another item of equal or lesser value. However, we have a strict no refund policy in place. We understand that there may be circumstances. See, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you can get a quick idea of how quality the information you're going to be able to use for your business instantly really is. Now, let's check out another example. It gave us a couple different policies we need to be aware of. So customer service. What about an employee handbook? This is this is one of the policy documents that you'll definitely need. Can you write a an a Let's just say, can you write 
a employee handbook for the food truck business just simple as that can you write an employee handbook for the food truck business boom robot you're working we're coming up with ideas you're doing the work sure here is a sample employee handbook for your food truck business all right this employee handbook is designed to provide you with information about our company policies and procedures and our expectations for employee behavior and in and performance it's got an introduction it's got employee expectations and then of course you can go in behind this and change it dress code we have a casual dress code okay and it's got just policies that it automatically created no clothing with offensive or inappropriate language or graphics is allowed it's got information about work hours, confidentiality. This is excellent. All right. So I just want to show you really quick what you can do to level up your company policy and compliance documentation. Now, I'm going to talk about compliance right now. So far, it's been company policy. So I'm going to ask the robot, can you provide example compliance docu documents that I may need for the food truck in Dade County, Miami, Florida, right? Can you provide example compliance documents that I may need for the food truck in Dade County, Miami, Florida? Right. Let's see what types of compliance documents that I may need. Here are a few business license. OK, that's a document. Food truck permit. Workers compensation insurance. Commercial liability insurance. Signage and advertising regulations. There may be specific regulations in the Dade County right, regarding the signage. So it's giving me some information about compliance, and I can go ahead and do what I have to do to get the commercial liability insurance, workers' compensation, food truck permit, etc., etc. So now you can see exactly how you can use AI for your business. Make sure you subscribe at howy.ai so that you can get all of the tips and instructions for how to use AI and ChatGPT right now is where I'm focusing. Use it to grow your business. You can get my email address and I'll answer your questions for your specific business. You'll also get 12 businesses to start with AI today and 31 AI apps to use in your business now. Okay, until the next time, I am Darnell Jackson. Make sure you share this video with your close friends. Until the next time, peace.